So welcome back. We are uh it's a it's a mini episode. We uh we do these. Do we need to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Today, this week, we are going to be uh re- doing a movie review for the menu. But you knew that from the title. So that was fuck me then. Cheesy. It sounds like an answering machine. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> uh, welcome back to another episode of Room Tone Movie Review. This is our first movie review of 2023. Are you what? guys excited? I'm pumped. Maddie, can you tell us what we'll be reviewing today? The menu. I don't know the director. I don't know the synopsis. I don't know. Let me look it up for you, Matt. Thanks, bro. Oh, Matt, that's cute. I listened on 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 our recordings last week that we said, "Hey, I'm gonna start calling you Mads," and I haven't done that yet. So I'm like, you know what? Let's get a little a little shot. Cute, I love it. Austin did it to me the other day, and I was like, "No, not you." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just didn't feel the same. Like it feels like such a like just like. You're so much more than a friend, you know? So it's like, that's like Aww. what my friends call me. But like, wow. you call me like, honey pie. Yeah. My friends <laughs> call the me. N-word. Yeah. <laughs> or bitch. My like. friends call me Mads, but you can call me Deep Throat. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He gets it. Or also known as. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> for those who might think that was dirty that was actually a re- x-files reference so yeah <laughs> and for those who did think it's dirty <laughs> nice nice dude the x-files is so fucking good i want to watch yeah it. <laughs> sorry guys i'm looking for it uh the menu a two, <laughs> a two thousand- <laughs> <laughs> okay I got it. Oh. the menu synopsis is a young couple travels to a remote island to eat an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with some shocking surprises. And shocking they were. Yes, they were, Swain. Tell them what they won. You won. Trauma. Trauma. (laughs) You won. (laughs) But delicious trauma. That's Mm -hmm. true. Yum, yum, yum. (laughs) Yum, yum, yum. Not possibly eat another bite. (laughs) All right. uh, Since I had this open... Um, do you two want to guess the Rotten Tomato score? Oh, I am oh, looking yeah. right at it. You dirty bitch. Oh, <laughs> fuck. So, yes, I'll guess. Okay. I already said what I think it's going to get from us. Is that what we do? Or do yeah, we let's do just do that. Okay. So, should we do intros then? Yeah. My name is Maddie. <laughs> okay, I can't say in distress like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have a gun to my back. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Maddie, and I'm guessing that the menu is going to get 47 out of 60. Because I think it was pretty sexy. I think the ending was bad, but I think it was sexy. You said 40. How much was it? 47. 47? Mm -hmm. My name is Austin Rapesa, and I think that the menu is going to get a room tone score of 46. Oh, shit. Yeah. My name is Austin Swain, and I'm about to rock the fucking boat. Mm -hmm. I think the menu is going to get a score of 53. God damn. Ho, ho, That's ho, ambitious. Ho, ho. Certifiably toned. toned. Dude. Go-goosh. Insert sound effect. What is the Rotten Tomato score? Since you both know it. 88%. 88? Yep, that okay. is for yeah. critics. That makes sense, yeah. And uh, our guesses here are for those... Uh, for those at home who haven't uh, listened to one of our movie reviews before, uh, we have a ranking score out of 60. Uh, we follow a rubric. Each of us allowed five points in each category pertaining to the visual storytelling or cinematography, the characters and their portrayal, the story and its writing, and the overall watchability and enjoyment. Uh, so each of us get five points in those categories, totaling to a final score of 60. And I'm pumped. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Let's dig in. Mm -hmm. Uh, So the director of this film is Mark. Oh, can't say that. (laughs) My wad. Malad. Your wad. Mike, my wad. (laughs) M-Y-L-O-D. 
Mo- my lord. <laughs> my lord. My moid? It's, it's got to be like Malad or Mylid, uh, who was also known for Succession, Game of Thrones, and Shameless. Oh, oh. shit. That really makes me want to watch Succession more. You, have you seen Shameless? No. I feel like you'd like Shameless. I just don't like any. Like I disagree. I don't like <laughs> any of so? those people. That's fair. I don't like the vibe. It's like trashy or Breaking Bad. Hell yeah. Except it's not Breaking Bad by any means. But it's like kind of the same like trashiness level. And now, right? <laughs> that's not trashy. What are you Ooh. talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, you don't think Breaking Bad the movie, is trashy? The show about meth heads? Yeah. You mean like like the style is like grunge? Like the characters are grungy? Yeah. Oh, oh that you meant like like the the show is trashy. It's trash TV. Like 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 no, yeah, like Honey Boo Boo. No, <laughs> what? It is not like reality honey TV. Honey Boo Boo Child. Let me tell you. <laughs> No, I watched a completely dollar, different show. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the cinematographer was Peter Deming. Oh, that's easy. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> easy uh, Peter Deming has also um, been the DP for Burnt, Chef, Smile, uh, The Banshee of Inertion. In- in- oh, Inertion? I heard that was good. Inertion? I heard that's Inertion? like the best movie of the year or something. Really? Because I heard uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. <laughs> No, not like actually the best movie of the year, but like critics were saying it was the best movie of the year. They always the say fucking that. True. With you like him, it's like Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see it. I still oh, do want to see okay. it. You just don't. Okay. I just didn't talk about because I haven't seen it yet. Okay, got it. And I felt like it's been an, on like a low radar, so I just haven't brought it up. Yeah, I have no idea what you we're talking about. You just didn't about. sound like you knew what you were saying. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I'm illiterate. So That's thanks for bringing that up. You're, You're a what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm lit, dude. Now let's review the menu. So let's start it off by saying that if you... Um, like Nicholas Holt, is that his name? Tyler, the character of Tyler mm-hmm. in the menu. You're toxic. You suck. Yeah. <laughs> You're a red flag. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I hope no one likes his character. I will say though, I love his acting because the entire time I'm like, man, fuck this guy. Yeah, I fucking hated him. <laughs> yeah. So the actor deserves all kudos. I would but... go on record to say like he is one of the least likable characters ever written. Yeah. Yeah. Like he okay. is just awful yeah he had no redeeming qualities there was like little moments where like he was trying to like share his like passion yeah or it sounds like oh my gosh like he's trying to share it with this particular person which is like it's not no (laughs) he just wanted to like show off that he knows this stuff he doesn't give a shit oh yeah he's just a show off yeah Yeah. he's a dick like Um, when he was explaining to her about like you know like these are like the raw elements or whatever like yeah this blah 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 blah. like you can see like the passion or you hear the passion in his voice and to me i'm like okay so maybe he's he's an asshole but like he he just doesn't know better and then he he really does care and then he says some like dumb shit like i paid for it i'm like oh god there it is yeah (laughs) Yeah. well i mean like let me say there was multiple red flags oh yeah before that but I gave him a chance. Oh, we tried. Bad news bears. Yeah. I was like Anya Taylor Joy in that scene where I'm like, okay, maybe he's okay. And then, <laughs> oh, no. and then I wanted to leave and go get a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's the first category? So the first one is the cinematography and set design and just kind of the visual storytelling of it. I'm going to start her off and I'm going to say, I'm going to give her a four because wow. Oh, wow. That was beauty. Yeah, yeah, seriously, so yeah. fucking pretty. Mm-hmm. I have never eaten in luxury. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, if I if I ever do, I would hope it'd be something similar to that. Yeah, I would hope I would die at the end of Just, it. Just uh, that would even be the point of continuing. Oh, you know? that's true. Yeah, I mean the like the coming together. Of, I didn't know they did that in the movie. Yeah, it was. It's a deleted <laughs> scene. <laughs> that was the s'more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but just like the coming together of beautifully plated dishes and very uh, purposefully composed shots, like just the display of the dishes and the lighting and just the setting of like how everything was so dark so that just like the food was illuminated 
was all just so beautifully done. I think they understood how aesthetically pleasing they needed to be, even with the ridiculous stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like when they presented like the rock. <laughs> yeah. Or Tyler's bullshit. Yeah. Like yeah. seeing that, I'm like, that's, that's silly. Yeah. That's so silly. <laughs> totally. And it like makes you like laugh out of like just the pure strangeness of it. Yeah. But yeah. like, there's also like a little bit of curiosity where like, I, I, shit. Okay. I'll try it. Yeah. yeah. What up? Totally. Yeah. yeah, I I honestly I thought that this was like a masterclass in cinematography. Mm-hmm. Um and I I think because of like the display of Tyler's bullshit, mm-hmm. like how seriously they took like that joke. It's it just works so perfectly. Yeah. Easy 5 for me. Easy 5. I think really. it's a 5 too. Yeah. I think the I think almost any movie that like can pull off being in one location that well mm-hmm. deserves a 5 in cinematography. Oh god, yeah. So, yeah. I'm also going 5. Yeah, they did really well. I definitely want to hang out there. If the people I would not give a 5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that is our next category. The characters. the characters and their roles in the story and their portrayal as such. I gave my score first last time. Just don't want to give their score first. Oh, characters? Yeah, you got it. Oh, God. Like a two. <sighs> because okay. they were so unlikable? Yeah, I mean, I really only liked Ray Fiennes and Anya Taylor-Joy. I didn't like anyone else. Ray Fiennes, was that Tyler? No. No, he's the chef. Oh, okay. Yeah. So would you say you didn't like their acting or no. like you didn't like the characters? No, I just in didn't like the characters at all. Okay. And like I didn't really care like about like the movie star and his like mm-hmm. manager or whatever. Didn't care. The yeah. like mm-hmm. I didn't like the like food critics. They mm-hmm. were kind of funny, but like I didn't like them, like the couple, Mm -hmm. I didn't really care about. So I just didn't care or like any of the characters except for Anya Taylor's Joy, which Mm -hmm. I mostly just liked her because she's her. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you kind of just like Anya Taylor Joy in anything she does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like Ray finds it what it like is just like the main character, anyways, who needed to be the coolest and he works, but yeah, I wasn't impressed with the rest of the characters. That's fair. Can I tell you a fun fact that I'm not positive is 100% true, but it makes me smile? <laughs> yes. That's what we do. So not a fun fact, per but se. A f- but but a f- can I tell you a fun mystery? Fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard that uh, the person who played the actor, um, originally it was meant to be casted to Daniel Radcliffe. And it was supposed Daniel Radcliffe? The actor? The actor. He was supposed to play the actor. Oh, okay. Got it. And it was supposed to be Daniel Radcliffe. And it was supposed to be oh, for his, as Daniel Radcliffe? Yeah. And oh, it was supposed man. to be his role in Frankenstein. Uh, oh, that's fair. It's supposed to be yeah. Yeah, when that's he plays really like Igor. Yeah. That would be, that would have been way funnier. Yeah, that's funny. I think there was just like time constraints and just couldn't happen. Man, but, it would have been really funny to like get Daniel Radcliffe and Ray Fiennes back yeah. in the same room though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. That's fair. I think though, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Were you done with the characters? Sorry, what? Two. I give him a two. You give him a two. <laughs> Flat out. Flat two with no remorse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll write that down. No remorse. <laughs> no, remo- no remorse two. <laughs> You know, I I will say I actually did enjoy a lot of the characters. I specifically enjoyed the uh, hostess. Uh, mm. I forgot what her name the Asian was. One? Yeah, um, I really liked her. Just kind of like attitude of like you're not gonna get what you want. You can cry and beg all you want. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was a dedicated bad bitch. She really was, and like she like I felt like she gave off like a lot of character just based on the few she- scenes that she's had mm-hmm. and like you get the sense of like her like motivations and goals throughout the whole like film and that's just to impress chef you know yeah mm-hmm. and like the, the the lengths that she was willing to go like i felt like she was really expressive towards that um and i i also really liked the character of uh tyler not hold on hold on <laughs> not, red, not, flag, red flag yeah, red flag i was like what not, did we not, just talk about not that i like him he, like the trope. Yeah, I just like how he played it because the entire time I'm like, 
God damn it. I hate this guy. Oh, yeah. I was like, fuck, I really hate this guy. Yeah. He is such a smug asshole. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Yeah, something I, worse needed to happen to him. That's what yeah. I was just going to say. Sorry. God, that was so funny when <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was in the theater of Morgan when I watched that. Yeah. And like he whispers something in his ear. You know, whatever, and I like I I, I go to Morgan. I'm like, you probably said, go kill yourself. Literally, that's, <laughs> isn't that what I like, said? And then this shot we see is him hanging in yeah. the fucking freezer. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> yeah. You should, you should just go kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, dude, totally. Which I, would, I mean is fair. Yeah, I would seriously say though, like one of my biggest gripes of the movie, mm-hmm. something you should have like seen a more violent death of Absolutely. Tyler. Yeah. I wanted 100%. like as soon as like knowing what the movie was going yeah. in and like seeing who his character was, I was immediately. Like, oh, I want to see him just get fucking eviscerated. And after seeing that guy shoot himself in the face, yeah. like, I was ready for anything. Yeah, yeah totally. And, like, my adrenaline was up, and then it was just like, and then he went and died. I, I was like, off, okay. Off camera. Off screen, yeah. That's fair. I, I Off camera death, little meh. Yeah. Um, I will say, though, I, uh, just to, like, add a little bit of argument to, like, your statement there. I felt like it was a very cruel death the entire time he was saying how much he wants to impress the chef, how much he wants to like show the chef his dedication to food and to his talent. Right. Uh, uh, we'll go out of his way. We'll literally go to a dinner where he knows the chef is going to kill him, but he doesn't care because he wants to eat his food Mm -hmm. because he's admires him so much. Just imagine the person you admire the most. Just imagine Maddie, Johnny Knoxville, Coming up to you <laughs> oh, and shit. saying, "Kill yourself, totally." Kill, kill yourself, but like, yeah. like saying, "Like you are not shit. You think you're shit, but you're not shit." Oh yeah, you are. You are the epitome of shit. You See, will... turn that into Mads Mikkelsen, and it's a wet dream. Oh, there. We... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> nonetheless, nonetheless, <laughs> but you know what I mean, like, 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 yes. like, like. He, yes, I the emotional like, torture was perfect. Yeah, yeah, I just needed an equally violent physical torture. That's fair. To accompany it, that's yeah. fair. I totally agree. Ruining yeah. his life so blissfully, yeah. like that was, yeah. So for me, I get the score. I, I'll, I'll give them a. I'll give them a three. I wasn't a big fan of Anya Taylor Joy's character, mostly just because mm. I felt like she—I feel like she plays the same like character over and over again. In yeah, a way, she's awesome at playing that character. It feels like <laughs> it feels like Aubrey Plaza, where like she's playing just the same character, and like I don't know, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know like what emotional depth I want to see, but like yeah. it just feels the same. Interesting. I get that, but see. But see what's where funny. you're wrong is like in this one, mm-hmm. she was uh, like a fancy girl who was really a hooker. But mm-hmm. like in Last Night in Soho, she was a, a fancy, fancy girl, girl who was also a hooker. Wow. Yeah, true. Yeah. And she was great at playing both of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Queens, and she was great in playing chess. In Queen's Gambit, she was a fancy girl who was it's also a, lesbian, a hooker who had a yeah. secret slut phase. <laughs> who had yeah. a secret slut phase in college. And issues with drugs. Yeah. <laughs> and loves to play chess. Yeah. No, what I think a woman. She, I think she's great. I support. I like her and everything she's I, in. I will say I haven't seen Queen's Gambit, so if there is like a weird like scene where like something happens, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, you <laughs> know that. Queen's Gambit is so good. You really should watch Queen's Gambit. I honestly, I think that the characters on the Hawthorne side were so much more compelling than the customers. Mm -hmm. Like, I loved the chef. I thought he was just a very interesting person. I loved the the uh, server. Mm. Um, I thought, yeah, it's just yes, chef. Yeah, yes, chef, all the way. And like the guy who who kills himself and like his cooks, like the woman who like came to the table and like cried and was all excited. Like, Oh no, everyone dying was my idea. Yeah. Like those are some <laughs> really interesting, quirky characters, yeah. Yeah. but we spent so much time with the customers. Yeah. yeah. And like, I, I appreciated that they wanted all of their stories to intermingle mm. and this will kick off our story conversation. Mm. And I really felt myself wanting to care yeah about all of those stories yeah totally. and i just never really did that's fair um so i am going to give it a three as well yeah. and that brings us to story like i said like those individual stories that were all meant to intertwine like i liked what they did i liked i liked the um 
aspect of like everyone at tonight's event was specifically gathered to like to be my final masterpiece like i think that that's really cool and so i liked that Mm -hmm. i will say i think the concept of the movie was better than the movie itself really i think it's like such an interesting concept to have like this one final dinner party type Mm -hmm. of thing but i feel like they could have elongated how the ending worked where like everybody was actually like agreeing with him i feel like they could have like really like made a community Mm -hmm. out of like all the manipulation in that amount of time versus like i mean the movie kind of was just like oh yeah this crazy shit's happening and everyone's upset about it like nothing really like Mm -hmm. happened until the ending where they all were like okay yeah i guess we're actually just all gonna die okay yeah bye you actually like don't really see anyone die except for the guy who kills himself um not true oh well yeah Yeah. i guess not (laughs) i guess not totally (laughs) true but like in a movie where everyone dies yeah you only see like a little bit of that. Mm. True. Because like the big ending where everyone dies is literally just an explosion in the background. Right. Can you can I tell you the one big problem I had with this entire story? Yeah. Uh, it was a line that they didn't use when she got her like cheeseburger and her to go bag or whatever, and she was leaving. I was really disappointed that no one in the room said, "I'll have what she's having." <laughs> <laughs> That might have worked. Like, I, I, I felt like I, I didn't know the rules. Yeah, right? You know, like, <laughs> that might have worked. Right? Like, oh, yeah. shit, I can make another cheeseburger? Okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe he would have just been, like, the happiest little guy. Yeah, like, shit, if she could get out that way. <laughs> can I also have a cheeseburger? Yeah. Oh. I thought that that was a really, like, sweet... Cu- I didn't see that coming. Like, I didn't see, like, her backstory coming out and, like, her and him connecting in that way. That's one aspect I really liked about the story. Yeah. I really liked that he, like, was pissed about her because she wasn't part of the plan. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's a very, like, cool feature of the story that he planned out who everybody was and, like, how to make it, like exactly what it was yeah yeah it was always people who like specifically like wronged him i thought he yeah. was being a petty bitch with the actor i'm not gonna lie oh totally yeah. when i watched you when i watched your film on my day off i hated it i was so upset oh by it. totally i think it's i i think he's like the, Dude, like the pettiest he would be me if i was like killing people who would, yeah. who would be your actor at your menu party oh i don't know that's a good question so just because I don't think anyone has said it, what would be your score, Swain? I, oh man, this pains me to say it because I don't think I'm going to win the big guest prize, but I think I'm going to give it a three for the story. Yeah. Same. I think I'm also going to give it a three. It's threes all around. Three, 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 three. That's three. a hot nine. That's what they call me. <laughs> At least they did. That's what they called me when I was nine. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, woo! I was a hit yeah, at the playground. Woo. Ten was a rough year. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, oh man, though, that ageism really starts to hit you. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? Double digits, dude. <laughs> yeah, double digits. That's gets the you end. St- yeah. yeah, you age out. No one likes you at preschool. Okay, anymore. what's the next one? So the last category. Is Sorry. the overall? It's just the watchability. Mm-hmm. You know, let's forget all these doucheries. Five. Maddie says five. <laughs> let's forget all these doucheries and then five. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I think that's different. exactly what yeah. that movie is. Like, I've been wanting to watch it again already, and I that's watched fair. it like recently. And usually, I don't feel that way. Like, it was just a fun time. Mm. So I would. I feel like it's. I would. Yeah, five. You know, I would give it about a four. Um, I had all, I've already watched it again. Um, and I honestly would watch it one more time. Uh, I watched a video essay the other day, um, talking about like the, like themes of like the plates and like mm. seeing like all of like, like the, how like the story builds within the plates and like the, the various like atrocities that these people who are at the restaurant have done, uh, whether it's like in a metaphorical way or like a, a legitimate way. Yeah. And seeing that just made me go like, oh, man, I, I would like to watch that one more time just to see like those things play out in mm-hmm. those ways with like that stuff in mind. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah. Like, I feel like I didn't get everything out of it the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I uh, 
I de- I very much want to watch it again, and I find myself recommending it to a lot of and like I just I feel like we just had a really fun time watching it, like mm-hmm. commentating on how shitty the people were, like laughing at how shitty the people were <laughs> especially considering that like the next day we tried to watch another movie and we were like couldn't even get like half an hour into it yeah true because, it wasn't the menu because <laughs> it wasn't yeah the exactly because we were like well i mean this definitely is not as fun as the menu was so why am i even bothering <laughs> because it wasn't on the menu uh, uh? <laughs> <laughs> because it wasn't on the menu <laughs> um and Honestly, I think I would have given it a five Mm -hmm. because it's so goddamn pretty and so fun and just like so unique. So are you like, I love just coming across a movie that it's like, (laughs) thanks, man. (laughs) I love coming across a movie where it's like, wow, like what a modern and unique and interesting premise. Like, good job. Way to like find something new. Very fun. Really puts a different twist on last meal. Am I right? Uh, last supper. Uh, 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 but honestly, the reason that I don't recommend it to everyone I meet is because I feel like the ending was lackluster. It yeah. was a lackluster. Yeah. And it's like if it ended with like something fucking crazy, I would be recommending it every single day. Mm-hmm. I'd be yeah. watching it every single day. Yeah. Yeah. So totally. for that reason, I'll give it a four. That's fair. Well, Swain, that was our last category. Can you give us the official room tone score? Let's say you said 46, I said 47, Austin said 53. The official room tone score is... Is... 44. Yeah. Two off, baby. Two off. That was you, Three Jesus. off, baby. <laughs> that was you, Satan. Wow, we were pretty close. I was nine off. Yeah, you did you bad. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I'm playing now. I, 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 yeah, I, we were pretty close. It's uh, a strong movie, but uh, we had some critiques. We did. Mm-hmm. We did. I think we could have done it better. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, dude, literally, like towards the end, I leaned over to Swain and I was like, Man, this is like the better version of what we were gonna make. Because <laughs> the with the old um, because one of our original ideas was the like guy cooking. Yeah, and it's yeah. all beautiful. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't have done it this beautiful. That we yeah. also had that uh, we had an old bag just drinking the whole time. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> true. That's true. Um, Looks like you can make that character. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. We just weren't visionaries. <laughs> I forgot she was in that. Yeah, they not really anymore. they really took all our ideas. Maybe we should sue them for we ripping should off their sue podcast. them for debauchery. Yeah. Um, respect to me. Anyways, you, bye. Yeah. Uh so uh we recommend it. If you've gotten this far and you haven't seen it yet, we recommend the menu. And sorry Thanks. for all the spoilers. Thanks for giving us another listen to one of Thanks for taking another Please don't do it like that. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? That's not what you sound like, dude. <laughs> you sound like such a chad. <laughs> Thanks for listening to our movie review. That's better. On the menu. <laughs> That's Thanks. the Austin I know. <laughs> there he is. The crying bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to our movie review. We really appreciate it. Catch us next week where we'll be back on the grind on the short film. Until next time, pause for room tone.